Hi, and welcome to your new Telzio account. Over the next few minutes, you'll learn how to get a phone number, port an existing number, add users, and configure your phone number to receive calls. Before we get started, you'll need to set up your account and payment information. Telzio offers prepaid services, which means you'll never receive a bill from us. Charges are subtracted from your Telzio account balance, so it's important to maintain a positive balance to keep your service active. Let's get started. Navigate to the billing page and first type in your billing address. Then you can set up your payment method and make your first deposit. Enter an amount, choose how you'd like to pay, and follow the steps to complete your transaction. If you're paying by credit card, you can enable auto recharge to automate your deposits. Auto recharge helps keep your account balance healthy and your service active. Once you have credits in your account, you can start adding phone numbers. Navigate to the Plans and Numbers page and hit Add Number. If you have an existing number you want to use, you can port the number to Telzio. Go to Port Number to begin the process. To get a new number, start by picking the country. Then, choose a local or toll-free number. You can search for numbers by area code and prefix. Add the phone numbers you'd like to purchase and hit Next. Next, you'll create a plan for your phone numbers. Slide the cursor to the right to add minutes and text messages to your plan. You can see your per minute overage rate below and coverage map to see where your free minutes are covered and to find international rates. Hit Next to review and confirm your plan. Keep in mind you can always change your plan later. Once you have a phone number with Telzio, you can create users for your phone system and enable your employees to use your Telzio service from the mobile app and office phones. Navigate over to the Users page and hit New User. Fill out the information for the user, including an email where you can send their login info. Choose the phone number you want the user to dial out from and give them an extension where they can be reached. As a reminder, all of your users are included as part of your Telzio service, which means you can keep adding users without paying more. The next step is to configure your phone numbers to receive calls. Head to the Plans and Numbers page and click on the number to see its details. Click on the number to set its inbound call destination. You can route calls to a single user, to a group, or to a call flow. Let's set up a call flow now. Navigate to your call flows and open up a flow. Add the first routing action for incoming calls. You can start with opening hours and route calls based on business and employee schedules. For example, you can send callers to voicemail during off hours and deliver voicemails to an email, user, or group. Feel free to record a custom greeting or stick with the default greeting. Next up, configure your inbound call settings during business hours. You can start with a phone menu to help automate calls to different departments. Prepare a greeting and record the message through your browser or upload a file from your computer. Thank you for calling us. If you know the extension of the person you're calling, you can dial it anytime during this greeting. Press 1 for sales or press 2 for support. Mark the options provided to the caller on the keypad, and when you update, you'll see the routing options in the call flow. To route calls to a department, select Forward Call as an action, where you can list users, groups, and phone numbers. For busy departments, you can route callers through a call queue by adding queue as an action. Configure the settings within each action and come back to this page anytime to add, edit, and delete your call flows. Lastly, you can edit your call flow settings by giving it a name and extension, which you can call to test it out. With users created and inbound call destinations set, you can start making and receiving calls with your Telzio service. Visit our support pages to learn more about configuring your services, view setup guides, and search for answers. And as always, we're here to help.